first looked at the music, it was a bit difficult to understand. And then when we got together, it was much better, much nicer, but still some, some bits, the harmony and the melody was, was, was a little bit hard to understand, to digest. But as we play along, it developed so nicely. And it's like looking at those um, pictures, the painting, you know, the scenery. Very calm, very nice, but it has a lot of little elements in the, in the picture. These are really gems in the, in the repertoire that not, not a lot of people know about, so I'm really glad that we got to pick them up. But in the third sonata, um, all of a sudden the harmonic language got a little bit more adventurous. It's like he's got more to offer. Um, he is looking ahead um, and, and that, that speaks to us um, in, a, in a very interesting way because of course he, he taught a lot of famous composers and as a great influence uh, in the 20th century. Um, so we see this progression from the first sonata to the mm -hmm. third sonata. And we're looking forward to the fourth to the sixth, sixth one. I mean, when I first played, I really loved the second one the most. Yeah. Like it had this really nice, um, fast um, first and third movement, and beautiful second movement. But then after recording, you know, preparing for the recording, now I, if you ask me, I like the third one the most. Mm -hmm. So um, my favorite pick is the slow movement of the first one. Oh, um, but, that's beautiful. Too. Yeah, that was really beautiful. Uh, I mean, when I first played it, and it, was, it started with a piano introduction, and when I played it, eight bars, I'm like, how come nobody knows about this? I mean, this needs to be performed, it needs to be heard. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're glad we're sort of an ambassador for, for this music. Mm -hmm. 